Today's video is brought to you by FlexiSpot. Howdy y'all and welcome back to another episode. We have two things on the menu for today, brisket and a new 35 millimeter lens from Seven Artisans. One of those you can eat and the other one you can't. I mean, I guess you can, but maybe don't. If you're not familiar with the company Seven Artisans, I'll catch you up. They are a third party lens manufacturer, kind of like lens crafters. No, wrong lens. Sigma or Tamron. They create affordable lenses for us peasants who really need our remaining kidney. Yeah, I know you sold your first one to pay for that like an M body. It's okay, most of you are in the same boat or should I say hospital gown. Overall, there's something sacrificed. They balance price for quality. Or is there a sacrifice? And just as a disclaimer, Seven Artisans did give me this lens, but the opinion in this video is all my own. Well, unless I was incepted. Yep, still awake. But for this episode, I thought I would go big. So put your cowboy hats on, cause we're going to Texas. And the first thing you gotta do when you step foot in this giant state is to get yourself some barbecue. Barbecue! 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 And the first stop on the way to glory is a la barbecue. And yes, I will be picking my favorite barbecue spot. Now the first thing I noticed about this new 35 millimeter lens when first taking it out of the box was its build construction and its weight. I don't like the body shame, but it is on the heavier side of the spectrum, opposed to my 35 millimeter color scope bar. It has a weight difference of 47 SD cards, or three and a half rolls of film, or one of these Yoda Legos. I mean, if any of those references help. Overall, it weighs less than a Sumicron. However, I do have to say, it is really well constructed. That little heft gives a nice solid grasp to hold onto. Just love to have like a. Yeah, this is my producer. <laughs> she helps get all the spots where we need to go. You're my videographer. I'm the intern. <laughs> I'm in training. <laughs> Once we were done with our first barbecue spot, our local tour guide, aka my sister, wanted to show us some of her old stomping grounds. So we hit up Zilkers for some yeah. yummy brews. So my abandoned meter went off again. Look at that. Isn't it beautiful? This lens also comes with a weird metal ring of a lens hood, but to be honest, I don't think I'm ever going to use it. It adds more bulk. And I don't like bulk, unless it comes with brisket. But before we continue, let me tell you about today's sponsor, FlexiSpot. In today's world of working from behind a desk, posture is so important. Trust me, I've been behind a computer for 12 years and I can totally feel it in my back. That's where the FlexiSpot Pro Plus E7 standing desk comes in handy. My physical therapist says I shouldn't keep my body in one position for too long. That's where the standing desk comes in handy. The dual motors make sitting to standing as easy as a button tap. The Pro Plus desk comes with an easy programmable keypad where you can adjust the desk to your height for correct posture. It also has four memory recall buttons so you and your partner can have your own presets. Or you could just take them all for yourself. You know I do. This standing desk is a game changer in my productivity and is just as important as the cameras or the computers I use, which just so happens that they all go on top of. So check out my links in the description box below to help you save a buck or two towards good health. And right now they're running a Black Friday deal, so there's even more room to save. Okay, let's get back to eating some brisket. And, and I guess shooting too. One thing I was excited for, except for the copious amounts of barbecue that I'd be shoving down my mouth cheeks, was that the lens opens up to an F2, as opposed to my scope bar, which is a 2.5. I know that 0.5 is not really much of a difference. I mean, who really cares if a doctor is rated at 4.5 and not a five on healthgrades.com? You're still not going to the doctor anyways.
Using this lens is quite nice, I must have to admit. The aperture is nice and clicky, and the ridges around the barrel make it easy to find your way to adjust your aperture. And focusing this lens is nice and damp, just like my pants after scarfing down some meat. Let's not go there. It's my big Next up, we needed more barbecue. So we tried to hit up Leroy and Lewis. Unfortunately, everything was sold out, like everything. So we had Mexican instead. I am aware that my barbecue for every meal isn't working out too well, but the queso here was amazing. So I'm really not that mad at it. Black and white time. Setting focus with this lens is so easy and precise to dial in. I don't find myself hunting as much with this lens compared to my color scope R. Focusing that lens feels a bit looser and I find myself overcompensating while focusing. However, that slower and damper focusing feel makes focusing one side of the barrel to the other a little slower. Doesn't matter. I mean, maybe if you're competing in a relay race, but come on, we're photographers. <laughs> we don't run. Well, maybe unless you shoot large format. So unprofessional of you. While getting a little pick-me-up coffee, the light was slapping way too hard. I needed to go out and take some photos. It was a little too bad that I only had black and white in my camera. I guess that's what you get sometimes. The brick, it's gonna slap real mm -hmm. hard. Mm -hmm. It'll be really good slapping too, you know? Oh, look at that light. I don't know much, but I know that's good light. What do you got? The squat. <laughs> in this roll. Already 15 shots deep. That night would bring us to Loro. It's an Asian smokehouse mixed with Texas barbecue. And damn, I must say that brisket was so good. So, 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 so tender. Overall, the food was on point. I also had steak and the steak was good. Really, really good. One thing that I must admit is the sex appeal this lens has while well, attached to my M6. The red accents on this lens pair wonderfully with the red dot Leica in the front and center of the camera. It's almost like having a nice mac and cheese or a baked bean with your Texas barbecue. It's not the entree, no. That's the brisket, but it's what keeps stealing your eye from time to time. And in this case, the entree is image quality, which is just like brisket. Yummy. Yeah. So let's talk image quality. Maybe you can tell, maybe you can't. I mean, you are watching this video on your phone, on the toilet, half paying attention, I get it. So I'll just come out and say it. <sighs> it's great, center of the lens is pretty damn sharp throughout all the f-stops. And there's really only a vignette wide open at f2. Honestly, I found it to be on par with my Voigtlander lens. The biggest difference I see is mostly in the physical size of the lens. It's almost twice the length of the Voigtlander without the lens hood. But with the lens hood, it's a different story. When looking through the viewfinder with the Seven Artisans lens attached, the lens does happen to block the lower right-hand corner, unlike the color scope bar, even with the lens hood on. At the end of the day, it doesn't really hinder my shooting experience, but it's there. Another day in Texas, another day hanging out with Lauren and Christine, and uh, we're gonna go have some fun. But first, barbecue. The next day after a long line for coffee, we also waited in a longer line for Micklewaite's barbecue. I met the future Jason and I in line. They saw my M6, so we got to talking. The crazy thing is they love shooting abandoned shit too. Looks like Jason and I have a good future ahead of us.
Oh, did you guys get any? Okay, now I've said quite a number of positive things about this lens so far. I mean, it can't really be all that in a back of barbecue burnt ends. Fair. One thing that I noticed when focusing to infinity is that it doesn't quite get there. Of course the lens can focus to infinity, it's just the rangefinder patch doesn't quite fully match up. It doesn't really seem to make a difference in the image quality, it's just the thing that I noticed and at first made me a little nervous. Now the other grip that I have is not necessarily with this lens, but the 28mm I previously owned. That specific lens needed to be calibrated, and no matter how hard I tried, the focus was always off. So I ended up selling it, and didn't say shit. <laughs> I was just kidding, I sold it to a digital shooter, so it didn't really matter. But for this lens, I'm kind of scared that I might get out of alignment someday, and I won't be able to fix it. And I don't even know if that's a valid fear. Honestly, I don't. Just like my fear of never having enough barbecue sauce. So maybe just don't toss the lens around. I don't know. I guess there's a reason why Leica lenses just cost so damn much. Precision and the name. That's what I'm trying to do with bad flashes. Bad flashes. Cash money. Overall, I must say, I really like this lens. And for less than $300, it's a great value for what you're paying for. So much so that I'm probably gonna sell my Voigtlander color scope art. I mean, maybe, but probably. But really, all I know are two things to be true. I'll continue shooting with this lens and I'll continue eating the shit out of some barbecue. Oh yeah, and Micklewaite's hands down best brisket. But Laura was a very fast second. Okay, well that will do it for me today. I would like to thank my sponsor, FlexiSpot. They're running a Black Friday deal, so maybe go check them out. Now I should probably go take a shower and wash some of this meat sweat off. Yeah. Okay, bye.